Mark, hello, how are you? I'm well, Frida. How about yourself? I'm good, thank you very much. And congratulations yes. on the film, which I, I really enjoyed. Now, of course, we know you best for your work on, on TV, particularly Succession. And I couldn't help thinking that the menu was just as savage in its own way as <laughs> watching Succession. Was that actually the appeal of the project and, and why you were tempted back to make, I think it's your first feature film in a few years. Yeah, first in 10 years. And, and that's it. Yes, your intuition is completely correct. Um, I, I About 10 years ago, I tried to somewhat reinvent myself to try to make bolder choices, to move away from doing just straight comedy and, and try to make choices that were more frightening to me and, and ultimately perhaps more rewarding. Um, so I started, yeah, making those bolder choices and particularly with features, I thought I just don't go anywhere near something until it's absolutely irresistible and, and and something I can get my teeth into and really have something to say. Um, and, and out of actually that path I took came, you know, led me to the menu. Um, and as soon as I read it, I just knew I had to do it. It was a fantastic cinematic ride instantly. It was such fun to read, but also had something to say. And that balance of satire, comedy, and, and that genre element of, uh, of horror stroke thriller to, to kind of put that package into um, felt like a really lovely challenge in hitting that tone. So there's there's a very uh, definite atmosphere in the restaurants and in the kitchen itself, particularly with its, if you like, military precision. Mm -hmm. How did you go about creating that atmosphere? Did you have to get experts in to to guide your your actors? Yes, um, the that the whole world of high end molecular cuisine was something I was almost entirely ignorant of at the point of reading the script so it's a deep dive of research and then of course the smart thing to do is to get the experts in um so i sent the script to dominique Crenn, a world-class uh three michelin star chef and dominique came across with wan her uh business partner and together with a local uh brilliant chef john ben hayes they put together this team in the kitchen and ran a kind of one week boot camp as we were pretty much building the set around them um where with mine and dominique's obsession with authenticity we made sure that everything that was happening in the kitchen and everything that everybody was doing was completely correct for whatever the next dish to be served was um so we drilled it and and as we drilled it it became apparent to me that actually this level of almost kind of military choreography was actually really Really fun uh, and was pushing it a little absurdist maybe but in terms of creating that discomfort that the very feelings that I'd had whenever I've been in these types of restaurants it seemed a beautiful way to kind of uh, ratchet up that slight level of discomfort that of course will, will will continue to grow throughout watching the film. You've got a wonderful ensemble cast for this um, and I wondered if it was a way of working that you particularly found rewarding because obviously it's not the first time that you've had an ensemble cast and it almost made me feel like it was a, a smaller scale Robert Altman. Mm. <laughs> um that's a lot uh, robert altman is my biggest hero in cinema um and yeah to be even mentioned in the same sentence as him uh completely <laughs> makes my day thank you um yeah i'm a massive fan of his and his whole way of working um I, I could literally three hours on that subject alone but yes there that altman-esque way of working putting an ensemble of brilliant actors into a room and letting them bounce off each other in some kind of confined space um is is absolute heaven to me um it's it's what we try to do in succession we're always trying to find excuses to put the protagonist into a room or into a space and, and of course we could literally do that within the confined space of the restaurant here and that to me was tremendous fun so are you a bit of a foodie yourself or are you more of a cheeseburger kind of guy? I'm, I'm that cheeseburger guy, yeah, I'm <laughs> repentant. Um, I did, genuinely, I did come away with a massive respect though for, for that whole art form and industry for the sheer workload and uh, it's just never ending. They're just in there 52 weeks a year, continue having to evolve and hit this perfection every night. It seems to be exhausting even to think about it. So yeah, massive respect for the humans involved. Mark, thank you so much for your time. I've got to say, I'm so looking forward to Succession Season 4. I really can't wait. Oh, I hope you really like it. really enjoyed Thanks. the menu and uh, great to meet you. You too. Thanks a lot.